Hi, Dennis is here with Garagit, the open source smart garage door controller. Today we are looking at the functional testing of finished product. With custom designed appliance, the process only takes around 30 seconds and checks all functions of the product. Now that we watched it in real time, let's take a closer look at each step of the testing. First, we connect the testing instrument and the power, which is supplied via micro USB connector. The tester is powered through the hardware extension port, so the fact that it boots up tells us that the power lines in both micro USB connector and extension ports are working. We also observe garage's LED indication, so we know the voltage regulator inside of the unit is functioning and there are no bad connections or short circuits in the power lines. After testing the reset button, we proceed to the next stage. The garage boots up and probes the extension port via I2C serial protocol. If the testing equipment is detected, the controller activates the diagnostic routines and shares the basic information, including its unique device ID. In the process, this verifies that the data lines of the extension port are connected and the unit is programmed with the working firmware. To test Garaget's sensor, the operator points its laser at the reflector placed at least 5 meters away while unit performs frequent scans. To pass the test, the product must return confident and stable reflection across multiple scans as well as ambient light reading within the acceptable range. In this step, the operator also verifies that all LED's base colors are working as it is continuously switched between red, green and blue. At the same time, in the background, the garage cycles its relay on and off multiple times and confirms with the connected tester that contacts are actually closed and open when expected. Only if all previous tests are passed in allocated time, the process moves to the next stage. In it, first we check the mode button. Then garage is switched into the listening mode where it acts as a Wi-Fi access point. Wi-Fi client in the tester scans the air for the mobile hotspots and connects to those with garage's naming pattern. The correct unit is confirmed by comparing the previously obtained device ID. If the signal strength is within the expected range and the data exchange via the wireless connection is successful, then the garage passes the quality control. On this picture we can see what's inside of garage's tester. It contains an Arduino Pro mini board controlling the 2x16 LCD I2C port to garage it, relay testing circuit, a buzzer, and a custom programmed ESP8266 connected via the software serial port. For more information, please visit community.garagit.com.